I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another installment in our Super Bowl snack series. Today we are going to be making these utterly delicious soft pretzel nuggets that you can put out on your snack bar and you can serve them up with our beer cheese that I made in another video and everybody is going to be really happy. The only problem is you better make enough for everybody because these are going to disappear fast. So let's go see how these all go together. gonna go right into making our pretzel nugget dough and I think this is the first time I've used the stainless steel Bosch bowl on camera so you get to enjoy that I love this I've used it several times since I got it for Christmas so what we're gonna start off with and I'm just gonna read off the um, the ingredients three quarters of a cup of warm water a teaspoon of instant yeast a tablespoon of granulated sugar a tablespoon of oil. I'm using sunflower oil. You can use whatever your preference is. We're going to start off with two cups of bread flour and then we'll see what happens from there. We may need to add a little bit more. It just depends. You know that it all depends on the weather and the humidity and how um, moist your flour may have been or how fresh it is or if it's been in food storage for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll start mixing this up. My flour was in my food storage, so it may actually be a little on the drier side, so I'm going to add a tablespoon of water. I'm going to add another tablespoon of water, or thereabouts, and then we're going to knead this for five minutes. Okay, our dough is ready, and I'm going to just drizzle a ton And that's going to help me get it out of the bowl without having a problem. Oh yeah. I actually did add a teaspoon of salt uh, after we got off camera because I totally phased it and forgot about it. I had the salt shaker in my mind and I totally forgot. So remember when you read the recipe you're going to want to add a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And there's our dough. This is a small batch, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, I'm gonna make enough for us to have a snack today, but these are best made fresh. So I'm just gonna set that right there in this bowl. I'm gonna let that hang out and rise. And then it's gonna sit for about 30 minutes because this doesn't have to be um, like bread. So what you're gonna do is let it hang out for about half an hour. I'm just gonna put this lid right on top of it. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna roll and cut these. And then we're gonna go through the whole pretzel process with you. All right, we're getting ready to prepare our pretzel nuggets. And what we have to do before we cut them up is make our bath. Pretzels require a boiling water bath. That is what gives them their beautiful brown crust. And um, when I was a kid, I used to say your pretzels had that nice brown flavor. Well, as you grow up and you learn what gives it that nice brown flavor, it's malt. But the baking soda has a chemical reaction once the um, pretzel nuggets are going to go in the water. So the combination of baking soda and diastatic malt powder. So I'm going to put, this is approximately three to four quarts of water. I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of baking soda and the same amount of diastatic malt powder. Now you can get diastatic malt powder on Amazon. Um, I will leave a link below to where you can find it. And also you can use the malt powder that you add to milk, but use the plain stuff, not the strawberry stuff. And sometimes you can find malt syrup. I have also used malt syrup in the past. So you can just squeeze about a quarter of a cup in there. The malt is what's gonna give this its really signature flavor for pretzel. And we're gonna go ahead and set this on the stove to simmer, and then we're going to make our pretzel nuggets. Okay, our dough has risen. And remember, we didn't have a very big ball of dough to begin with, so this has been actually out for more than 30 minutes because I've been off making other videos for you. 
And so what you want to do is just, you want to get all that air out of there. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my bench scraper and I'm going to divide this ball of dough into four pieces. I'm just going to remove these two, three. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide this one in half. I'm just going to set that to the side. I'm using a dry board. I don't have any flour. I don't have any oil or spray or anything like that because it's not necessary. Our dough is pliable and you just want to roll this out. So what I'm going to do is I have rolled this out. No, 13. It's 13 inches. <laughs> okay. So um, just start cutting these up into nuggets. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to put these over here on a baking sheet that I have lined with a parchment. And that's as easy as that is. I'm going to go ahead and roll out the rest of my dough, cut it into nuggets, and we'll meet you back at the stovetop so we can give these a simmering bath in our baking soda and malt water. We got all of our dough rolled out and cut into nuggets and now we're going to go over to the stove and we're going to boil these. It's only going to be in the simmering water for a few seconds and then we're going to put it back on the pan and we're going to bake them. So get your oven preheated to 350 degrees and we'll meet you over at the stove. All right, we're over here. Our water is just just about ready to simmer and we are going to add some of our little pretzel nuggets into this water. Now it doesn't have to be boiling, it just has to be hot. So keeping it just under a simmer is like perfect. And you can see the bubbles are just now starting to rise from the bottom. So that's kind of where you want it. And by the time I'm done giving all of these a bath, it, it'll just be fine. We won't need it anymore. So what you want to do is you want to keep it in here and I have my spider, and you'll begin to see the dough starts to become wrinkly, okay? And then what you wanna do is you're gonna take them out, and I have some over here on my pan already, and then you can just dip them in some salt. Now, my salt container <laughs> decided it was going to um, open up at the most inopportune time, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this all over and I'll put some back over here because we probably don't want all that on my pan. Now I'm not sure that I'm gonna bake all of these all at one time but we'll see. Now these have increased in size just a bit and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put them transfer them over here onto the baking sheet and you don't want them too close together so go ahead and make sure that you give them plenty of room to grow. And then I was trying to just sprinkle it. This is just a little kosher salt. You can use pretzel salt if you like. Um, you can leave them salt free. It's completely up to you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these, let's see, into my 350 degree oven. And we're gonna bake these for 12 to 15 minutes. You're gonna wanna keep your eye on them because the nuggets, you want to make sure that they don't overcook because we're, we're going for a soft pretzel vibe here. We're not going for a crispy one. And I'm just gonna separate these so they're not too terribly close together. So these are gonna go in the oven and we'll be back when it's time to enjoy these homemade pretzel nuggets. Okay, I just pulled these out of the oven. They smell amazing and they look just great. And now I'm gonna let them cool for a few minutes and then I'll meet you back over at the counter and we will dig into these delicious looking pretzel nuggets. There you have it. Delicious homemade soft pretzel nuggets. These were really simple and really didn't take that many ingredients. Now, if you don't have the malt powder or the malt syrup, I think most of you can find it. I buy um, like malted milk powder you can buy in the grocery store in the same section that they sell like the Nestle's Quick and the Hot Cocoa Mix. Usually it's up on a high shelf, sometimes it's down on a low shelf, but it's not like in the middle because a lot of people probably don't buy that, but you'll be able to find it. And I'll leave a link down below for the diastatic malt powder that I used because that's a really great thing to have on hand, not just for homemade pretzels, but for homemade bagels and for other types of homemade breads. And 
one jar will last you your whole life, I'm pretty sure. But we have served this up with a Kentucky style beer cheese that I recently made in a video. I'll link that also at the end of this video. You'll be able to see a card for it. And um, yeah, this is our, our pretzel nuggets. These are perfect party food. They're just finger food, pop it in your mouth and enjoy it. So are you ready? And they smell so good. They do. They smell like pretzels. Yes. You ready to taste one? I have to. You want it in cheese? Yes. Please. There you go. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty delicious. So get the mustard, whatever kind you like, honey mustard, yellow mustard, Dijon mustard, brown mustard, whatever, and everybody's gonna be happy. I think this cheese dip is the perfect accompaniment. Um, you can put out cheese sauce or whatever. You can put out nothing and just put the pretzel nuggets out because I know some of you are gonna ask me, can I bake them ahead and freeze the dough? No, you can't. You can bake them and freeze them for up to three months and then you can warm them in an oven for about 20 minutes until they're heated through and then you can serve them. So that's my suggestion. So that's how you make soft pretzel nuggets, perfect for your next party or your Super Bowl gathering or your tailgate party or whatever. You're gonna love them. I hope you give them a try. And if you like today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, be sure and hit that bell button. If you have hit the bell button and you're still not getting notifications, hit the bell button again. And let's see if that works this time because we don't want you to miss out on the notifications that YouTube sends out every time we upload a video. And that way we want you to be sure and stay tuned for all the real food, for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right from our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give these homemade soft pretzel nuggets a try, whether it's for your Super Bowl party or any other time. And I hope you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya.